The royal capital makes me a bit nervous. There are just so many people here. Sorry for calling you out here. I didn't think I'd ever see you lot again. I'd say the same to you. I was worried about what happened after the attack at the loot house. Don't go worrying about me. Either way, I'm glad we all got out safe and sound. I've been hearing a lot about what you've done lately. I didn't think you were the ones who defeated the Dusk Bandits. Everyone says that, but were those bandits really all that bad? It didn't feel that way to me. Their rise to infamy is only recent, but the gratitude the people have been showing you should speak volumes. Though it's more likely that you aren't the one getting all the attention. But that young lady friend of yours... Me? Alright, then things are going just as planned! So long as we get more people like Otto to show their support for Melee, regardless of her background, we'll be able to compete in the Royal Selection. Royal Selection? Hmm. I see. That's quite a difficult path you're treading. I know. But it's the path I've chosen to take. My role is to support her through it all. But besides that, why'd you want to talk to us? You even made the effort to relay your message to the Appa seller. My business with you only concerns one thing. Felt. She hasn't been back since the attack. Do you happen to know anything about her whereabouts? Felt hasn't come back yet? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. What about you, Melee? You know, the blonde girl who was with us at the loot house. The one who stole your insignia. Yes, I remember. Reinhard took her with him. He did? But why? Reinhard the Sword Saint, huh? Of all the things that could have happened... Did that help? It did, thanks. Now I know what I need to do. You should be careful, too. How so? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just warning you that the Royal Capital can be a pretty dangerous place, too. So, now what? The whole point of coming here was to find out why the Royal Selection was postponed, but... Oh, you're right, Subaru. We haven't had the chance to conduct a thorough investigation. No, oh, that's not it. Subaru, investigating the postponement isn't even your main priority. You need to receive treatment. So go back to the inn and get some rest. I can't do that. You saw that brooding look on old man Rom's face, too, right? He knows what sort of trouble he'll get into by himself. I at least want to talk to Reinhardt. And for my own sake, I want to know if Felt is safe. Hmm... You do have a point. I can't say that I didn't play some part in how that old man and the girl got separated in the first place. More like you were a victim, having gotten your insignia stolen amidst everything going on. Anyway, I want to go and see Reinhardt, but what do you think we should do, Melee? I think checking the guard station would be our best option. We should be able to contact him from there. Alright, then let's head there first. Jeez, once you get riled up, you really don't listen to anyone around you. The guard station should be just past the shopping district. You're looking for Sir Reinhardt? I haven't seen him around today. I didn't expect to see you here. You're... 
Good day to you, Miss Amelia. I hope you've been well. Yes, thank you. Not much has changed recently. I'm glad you also seem to be doing well, Julius. I'm honored you remember me. Your beauty seems to shine even brighter with each passing day, Miss Amelia. What a coincidence meeting a Knight of the Royal Guard in a place like this. Stopping by here is part of my patrolling duties. Things are rather tense at the Royal Castle right now, so I was worried it might affect the mood of the town. But I suppose it's good to pay the townspeople a visit every now and again. After all, it allows me to come across such beautiful flowers across my path. Huh? What do you think you're doing? That's quite the greeting. I am merely greeting a lady as any knight should. As a knight should? You think you can just take my Melee's hand and- Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> Melee, you're gonna pull my ear right off my head! Don't say such silly things, Subaru. I'm sorry, Julius. You can be such a child sometimes. You want to talk, Melee? You need not apologize, Miss Amelia. But you there. I do not agree with your tactic of hiding behind your master and having her grovel on your behalf. <laughs> Hit me where it hurts, why don't ya? <laughs> Sorry. You seem to be struggling with your words quite a bit, but I accept your apology. I am Julius Eucleus, a Knight of the Royal Guard. I'm Subaru Natsuki. I'm someone important enough to Melee that we walked around the Royal Capital holding hands. Yes, so you wouldn't wander off on your own. In any case, could we trouble you for some help? I have an important matter to take care of and wish to communicate with someone at the Royal Castle. I see. So you want to use the conference mirror in the guard station, I assume? Yes. I would greatly appreciate it if you could help. Understood. Please allow me to show you inside. Would you like to come along as well? Yes, of course! I can't leave you alone with Melee! Ow, ow, ow! Seriously, Melee! My ear's gonna rip right off! Jeez. <laughs> <sighs> You're as stubborn as a mule. Ugh. That's a phrase I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> Stop laughing so much! Whoops! <laughs> Sorry! But Subaru, you've got a lot of guts standing up to Julius like that. He was so unlikable. We didn't even get to talk to Reinhardt. All we managed to do was meet that annoying knight. You think Julius is just some annoying knight? You're funny, Subaru. I'm being serious here. I'm glad you invited us to dinner, Crochet. But I have a feeling you didn't just want to have a fancy meal together, did you? Of course not. I was hoping we could exchange information on the reasoning behind the Royal Selection's postponement. However, you seem to have had something more important to deal with as of late. We didn't really get to do much investigating with all the interruptions we had to deal with today. Sorry to waste your precious time like that, Melee. Let's try again tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you in the first place, Subaru. Your main priority is to heal your body, so please, get some rest. Uh, but I... Yep, yep. You should listen to Miss Amelia. You aren't taking the situation you're in seriously, Subaru. I don't want to spook Mew, but your symptoms are pretty serious. Why don't you look after yourself more and get some rest like Miss Amelia told Mew to? I understand your sentiments. But this is just the type of person Subaru is. Well, well. Even little Ram is coddling up to him. It seems like Mew won't learn your lesson unless Mew get hurt really, really badly. 
That's awfully ominous. If you think that's scary, then you really should consider what Ferris and I are saying. Otherwise, I'll have Rem monitor you the entire day. I cannot go against an order if it is from Miss Amelia. I shall watch over Subaru like a hawk. Hmm, I see. I applaud your sense of loyalty. Consider me impressed. I think her eagerness is a little different from loyalty. Everyone appears to be here. The Council of Wise Men will now enter. So that's the Council of Wise Men. Yep, yep. That's the representative, Lord Miklatov, and the lot. Without a king, Council of Wise Men has full authority on matters regarding the kingdom. They're a very important bunch, so don't go disrespecting them. Got it. Thanks for filling me in. Still, this is where they're gonna tell us why the royal selection was delayed, huh? That's a relief after all that running around we did trying to gather intel. Well, you could also say that all that running around was a big old waste of time. Depends on how you see it, but we did find out other things along the way. Right, Reinhardt? Yes, I'm glad to see you again, Subaru. Yeah, same here. We've got a lot to catch up on. I'd love to chat with you. Let's focus on this delegation for now. We can talk for as long as you want after. That's so. I'll hold you to it then. Quiet. The Captain and the Council of Wise Men are about to begin. They really don't like you. <laughs> Keep it to yourself in the meantime. Oh, honored members of the Council of Wise Men. All the respective royal candidates have gathered at your summons. As the head of the Knights of the Royal Guard, I, Marcos, shall lead the proceedings. Hmm, yes, please continue. We have gathered you all here today for an important update to those involved in the selection of the next ruler. That is, the Royal Selection Ceremony. The members of the Council of Wise Men and the candidates in the selection process have gathered here to discuss that very reason. Approximately six months ago, our previous king and his royal family all passed away. With the king gone, the kingdom's straits have turned dire, particularly due to the issue being deeply entangled in the covenant of the dragon kingdom Lagunica. The dragon's relations with our great kingdom spans back several centuries. The king at the time, Varsail Lagunica, made a covenant with the holy dragon Volcanica. Since then, the dragon has saved the kingdom during numerous crises with its almighty glory. The holy dragon Volcanica represents the utmost of loyalty and sense of justice. Even after all these generations, it watches over us from beyond the Great Waterfalls. Hmm, that is why maintaining the Covenant greatly affects the existence of the Kingdom itself. Having the entire royal bloodline fall to plague is a regretful matter, but we must now establish the next priestess as soon as possible. The Dragon Friend Ceremony will help renew the Covenant. It is a meeting in which the Chosen Priestess will communicate with the Dragon. It is a role that has been heralded by the Royal Family for generations and must now be filled. And we of the Knights of the Royal Guard have received explicit orders from the Council of Wise Men. We must find the Priestess who has been chosen by the Dragon Gem. And now... Knight Reinhard Van Astrea, please report your findings. Yes, sir. To the honorable members of the Council of Wise Men, I am Reinhard Van Astrea of the Knights of the Royal Guard. I am here to report that I have successfully found the fifth candidate. The fifth Ooh. candidate? There's Amelia, Cruchet, and Priscilla. 
There's also another person I haven't seen before. With the fifth one, that should be all of them. Wait, then what's the big stink about it being delayed? This is our fifth priestess, Miss Felt. Wait, what? Felt? She's the fifth candidate? What the hell? Reinhardt, you brought me here without a single explanation! What's going on here? I'm surprised. What brought this on? Don't play dumb with me! This place, these clothes, you, and all these people! What's up with all this? Oh, I just about had it with all this! Do you not like the dress? I think you look quite stunning. Forget about the clothes! It's not like I'm embarrassed or anything. I'm just saying I hate it! And not just the outfit, I hate you too! Do you have no shame as a knight of honor for kidnapping and imprisoning a young girl like me? I merely did so for the prosperity of the kingdom. Uh, uh, how do I put this? I guess I'm kind of relieved that things haven't changed with you. <laughs> She's not holding back one bit against the great sword saint. It's pretty refreshing to see. Huh? You're here too? Really makes me question the point of this meeting. Reinhard van Astrea. Yes. Now, Miss Feltz, please hold this. There! Happy? Insignia shining. So then, the Dragon Gem has accepted her as a priestess? I always thought these things were weird, even when I stole one of them. I wonder what makes them glow like this. Stole? Is proof that the Great Dragon has acknowledged you, Miss Felt. As you all can see, the Dragon Gem recognizes Miss Felt as a priestess. She has the right to participate in the Royal Selection. Pardon me, Sir Reinhardt, but is that not a bit rash to say? I question whether the Dragon Gem is genuine or not in the first place. I beg your pardon. Are you deaf? I'm asking about the validity of her Dragon Gem. Allow me to confirm it with my own eyes. This goes for all the candidates present. Sir Rickert. What point is there in hiding it any further? Is that not why you called everyone here today? Hold on a sec. What's the matter, Miss Anastasia? I don't get what's going on here, but I'm a busy woman. As they say in Kararagi, time is money. What's the point in checking out our dragon gems? The only reason any of us are here is because our insignias are the real deal. Regarding that... Excuse me! Sorry I'm late! Royal Capital is just so big. Being from the countryside and all. No, Melty. You can't use that as an excuse here. Oh, sorry, Sakura. I guess Tiga and I are the only country bumpkins here. Calm down, Mel. Take a deep breath. Breathe in slowly, then exhale. Ready? And out. <sighs> well? Feel relaxed? Y yeah. Thanks, Tiga. So, um. I apologize, Miss Melty. Due to your tardiness, we've already begun without you. What? Really? I'm sorry! That girl. Is she the nun I saw in the city? The other two are the ones who came to the manor as emissaries. So, those two are part of this as well. Though I guess that's pretty obvious now. But then, who is she? Apologies for the delayed introductions. This young lady... ...is the sixth priestess, Melty Pristis. What?!
Each of the royal candidates relinquish their dragon gems for inspection? Oh, I guess so. Who would have expected a sixth candidate? It'd be pretty bad if there were an imposter among us. I'd like to check Miss Felt's dragon gem first, if you don't mind. I guess things are moving along now. Anyway, don't you think the royal candidates are all a bit... Too quirky? Huh? Excuse me, but you're not talking about Miss Cruchet, aren't you? I mean, she's pretty special in her own way, but the others are way out there too. You've got Felt, the princess of the streets, and Priscilla, the epitome of arrogance. And that Anastasia girl's from another country entirely, right? From a passing glance, the only normal ones seem to be Neely, Cruchet, and... That Melty girl. I get why Mute say that about Miss Crucia and Miss Melty, but even Miss Amelia, huh? Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. More importantly, it looks like they're done with their inspection. We have completed our analysis of all the dragon gems that are present here today. The candidacy of each priestess has been proven without a single doubt. According to the prophecy as laid out by the Dragonstone, when the covenant with Lagunica has severed, the new bearer of the Holy Dragon shall lead the nation. It also states that five shall be called upon for their nomination to the throne. Among them, a single priestess will be elected to serve a new covenant with the Holy Dragon. The Dragonstone has as much history as our great nation itself. When the fate of the kingdom is at stake, prophecies are foretold. Considering the great effects the Dragonstone has had upon our kingdom, it is our duty to fulfill such prophecies. The Holy Dragon Volcanica bestowed upon us the Dragonstone, which has guided the kingdom extensively in the past. In the days of yore, our kingdom had braved through the coup de gras famine, and the Nightmare of Blight Dragon Balgrin. Come now to recent times, and we can see how it alerted us to the Black Serpent invasion, allowing us to minimize casualties. Hmm, that is quite enough. Everyone present knows already of its greatness. However, that still leaves us with six of supposedly five priestesses, yet none of their dragon gems are fake. Hmm, which means... We must delay the royal selection until the number of priestesses is as foretold. Hold it, old man. Don't complicate things any more than you should. No one ever asked me if I wanted to be the next ruler. If I drop out, that'll make five candidates. Then you won't need to delay the whole thing. I was dragged all the way out here from the slums anyway. I told that knight to take me back, but he refused. Not only that, he stashed away my regular outfit and made me wear this really nonsense! 
This is super annoying. I never agreed to any of it. Then that settles it. If this one declines, we'll have the proper number of candidates for the royal selection. There is no more reason to postpone it. Besides, the other candidates are merely here to fill in for the foretold numbers. Unlike me. I cannot allow that comment to pass, Priscilla Bariel. That goes for your withdrawal as well, Felt. Considering the importance of such an event, I do not condone such an action. What the hell? I wasn't asking for your opinion! I make my own decisions! Outsiders can keep their sticky noses out of it! Whoa, things are getting really tense now. It'll be pretty bad if it continues on like this. I beg your pardon. What insolence! Do you realize the importance of the discussion at hand? My apologies, sir, but I have an urgent message to relay. We just caught an intruder trying to sneak onto castle grounds. This intruder... Hmm? What are you looking at me for? The intruder is demanding to see Miss Felt. Don't make me repeat myself. Let old man Rom go! I apologize, but we can do no such thing. Since you have denounced your candidacy for the royal selection, you have denounced your title that commands us as well. So if I don't go through with the royal selection, then you won't listen to me, is that it? That is the most basic idea of it, yes. Fine then! I'll join this stupid ceremony. You just want me to try to become the next ruler, right? Reinhardt! Yes, Miss Felt. Uncuff him! They're too small anyway! And it's making my own wrists hurt just looking at them! Right away! Felt, I was trying to stop you. Sorry, old man Rom. I can't just abandon you like this. <sighs> I raised you to be too nice! So that makes six candidates with verified dragon insignias. We're right back where we started. No, that does not seem to be the case. Huh? By the way, Miss Amelia, where is your benefactor, Margrave Mathers? Um, I apologize, but Roswell is not currently present in the royal capital today. I see. So your guardian is not present. Not to mention that his sanity is in doubt. Having nominated a silver-haired half-devil for the throne. Lord Bordeaux, you are out of line. Lord Miklatov, do you not see how this half-devil resembles the description of the Witch of Envy herself? The very being that once devoured half of the world, forcing all living things unto the brink of despair. Do not tell me you are unaware of the legends. Your appearance and lineage are enough to instill fear into the masses, yet you dare attempt to usurp the throne? How execrable. <laughs> You little... Stay back, Subaru! Don't stop me, Ren! I can't forgive anyone who talks to Amelia like that! Miss Amelia is already aware that she must endure such abuse. Besides... Besides what?! Do you really believe he would sit by idly while Miss Amelia is berated as such? Awfully bold of you to speak to my beloved daughter like that human. Don't tell me. I could encase this entire castle in ice with you lot inside of it if I wanted. Don't you dare forget that. The Apocalypse Beast of Eternal Frost. I suppose some have called me by that name before. Looks like you youngsters know your stuff. Being treated as a youngster at this age is quite the experience. So, you resort to intimidation now that the circumstances have changed. Such words are clearly a threat to us. 
I don't agree with making threats either. You can't freeze us all inside this castle. I won't stand for it. And Lord Bordeaux also took things too far. Uh, don't you agree, Tika? What? Why are you bringing me into this? <clears throat> well, either way. I don't think you should make threats you don't plan on carrying out, Great Spirit. There are people like her who will take it seriously. Aw, guess you saw right through me, huh? B what do you mean? He isn't going to freeze us? Of course not, Mel. The Great Spirit would never do such a thing. And pardon me for saying, but if I may, I also believe Lord Bordeaux stepped out of line. I don't believe Miss Amelia's appearance or origin have anything to do with the validity of her dragon gem. Not to mention that Margrave Mathers' absence is hardly a reason to be suspicious of her. I mean, isn't it normal to be preoccupied when a meeting such as this is held so suddenly? Excuse me? You make it sound as if we're the weird ones for gathering here. Ah, pardon me, Miss Anastasia. In your case, I would say you're abnormal, yes, but in a good way. With your graceful beauty and extraordinary talent for dealing in business affairs, it's clear to everyone that you are not like the rest of us. My, you certainly have a way with words. Perhaps you would feel more natural being a merchant than a knight. I'm honored by the compliment, but I fear we've strayed from the topic at hand. However, I do believe it would be rash to make a decision at this very moment. Hmm. I agree with Sir Tiga. But what shall we do in this instance? Lord Miklatov, do not lend your ears to this child! We were all young once. Not to mention that he seems to be quite a thought-provoking young man in my eyes. <sighs> You're far too kind. And my intention wasn't to stand out as much as I have, but... Since you asked, I shall answer. We cannot avoid this postponement, though it would be a real shame to end things on such a dreary note. So... Let's have a little get-together! <sighs> a get-together? Hey, Subaru. You enjoying this little party? Oh, hey, Tiga. To be honest, it's a bit tense for something usually meant for more friendly relations. You need a pretty big knife to cut through this atmosphere. Not to mention some of the candidates didn't even stick around. Ah, you mean Mrs. Priscilla and Anastasia. Those two are like oil and water, but they are rather logical in their rationale. They must have thought that it'd be better to continue doing their own thing rather than participate in this gathering. Hmm? Something wrong? No, I was just noticing how observant you are. You had a lot of confidence talking to those bigwigs earlier, too. Are you used to this sort of thing? It's not that I've done this a lot, if that's what you're asking. I've just always been good at composing myself when on stage, so to speak. I don't really get nervous or anxious when situations get tense. Huh. Is that right? I'm quite jealous of you. I'm such a nervous Nelly. Whoa, Mealy. That's a phrase I haven't heard in a long time. Oh, there you go again. Hello, Miss Amelia. I apologize for the sudden proposal of this get-together. No, it's okay. This gives us an opportunity to speak to everyone. So, how'd your greetings go? Since I wasn't invited for some reason? Probably because you say things like that. Well... We made our rounds without issues. Whether we made good impressions or not is a different matter altogether. You mean... It went as you're probably imagining. My appearance was an issue earlier too, wasn't it? Are you looking like some witch from a long time ago? Man, what does that have to do with anything going on now? 
Your silver hair, eye color, and face are totes adorbs. That's all that matters. That's a bit extreme, Subaru. But it is a very Subaru way of thinking. It really does make me happy that you try to console me like this, Subaru. But I can't just ignore the way it makes me feel. I'm not really trying to make you feel better so much as I'm telling you what I truly think. What a wonderful way of thinking! I'm incredibly moved by your sentiment! What? Are you all done, Mel? Oh, yes. I finished speaking with everyone else. Now I'd like to speak with Miss Amelia and her associates. With me? Yes! Um, that is, if you wouldn't mind. No, of course not. I'm happy you asked. I would love to talk. Wonderful! Ah, what good timing. Would you mind if we joined you? We? Are you including me in this too? Is that an issue? Though, I suppose you don't have to if you're too afraid. The hell? I ain't scared of nothing! Fine! I'll show you what's what. Uh, uh, um... Um, f please don't fight! M Miss Amelia, won't you say something as well? <laughs> Having a nice chat with you all sounds very fun. Oh... What a pleasant smile. Rem? Could you prepare us some tea? Yes, of course. Right this way, please. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies sure sound excited. Just seeing such a lovely sight makes having this get-together all the more worthwhile. I agree with you there. Melee looks like she's having a lot of fun. Her attitude from earlier did a complete 180. <laughs> then you should share in her happiness, Subaru. You look as if you're disappointed in yourself for some reason. Yeah, of course you'd say that, Mr. Popular. Well, that certainly came out of nowhere. What are you talking about, you two? I hope you don't mind if we join you. Reinhardt, the Sword Saint. Oh, please, you may simply call me Reinhardt. We're both knights of royal candidates, after all. Besides, that title is still too heavy for me to bear. All right, if you say so. What's got you two so excited? I was just commenting on how popular Tiga must be, being so aware of the finer details. Doesn't that make me feel a little hollow inside, Subaru? You bet it does. And then Reinhardt came out of nowhere. What am I supposed to do here? Want Fairy to make me feel better? I won't say it's not tempting, but I only have eyes for Melee, you know. Hey, Reinhard, does Subaru not know about Sir Felix? So it seems I should probably tell him. Shh. Well, there you have it. We should just observe for now. Agreed. Hey, you two, don't start gossiping like school kids. We can't lose to the girls here. Let's deepen our manly bonds. Luckily for us, that annoying Julius isn't around. I agree. We should all get to know each other better. However, I think you misunderstand something about Julius. He is a very good friend, and... Ah, oh, shut up! Oh, Subaru. I don't understand why Mew don't like Julius so meowch. Bad timing, perhaps? Now... Let's go join in the merrymaking, Sir Felix. Or was it Ferris? <laughs> you get it? I'll let you escort me then. That's quite the honor. Hey, come on over already! Then I'll go back to the manor and update Roswell about what happened yesterday. Are you sure you should go by yourself? Maybe we should come with you. It's fine, Subaru. I'll be with her. We'll arrive at the manor while the sun's still out. There shouldn't be any problems. But... Don't worry, Rem will be with you. Besides, 
You need to prioritize your treatment, so you should stay here and continue your sessions with Ferris. Be a good boy and be patient. Miss Amelia, your dragon carriage is ready. Yes, thank you. Well then, Rem. Please take care of Subaru while I'm away. Yes, he will be in good hands. Please stay safe. Uh, I really don't like this plan. Now, now. If you want to help Leah, there are tons of other things you can do, can't you? Like what? Like finding the fake priestess. We can't do that if we're not in the royal capital, right? Huh. You've got a point there. Alright then. Go on ahead, Melee. You can count on me to handle everything here. Where did you get so much energy all of a sudden? Subaru can be quite cute when he gets excited. So, with Melee gone, my job is to weed out the imposter in the capital. Time to expose the fake candidate. Yes, let us expose them. But do you have any leads? Nope, not a one. We'll uh, have to find some. Any suggestions, Rem? I'm sorry. I am not currently able to think of any. Not to mention, I must be on my way to speak with Miss Cruchet right now. Cruchet? Why? I have orders from Lord Roswell to do so. So... I see. That's fine then. You go do your thing, Rem. I'll try coming up with some ideas of my own. Alright. Um, I will be back before you know it. Please remember to not do anything rash, Subaru. I got it, I got it. You worry too much, Rem. Well, now that Rem's gone too, I guess I'll start looking for those leads. Since Rem's meeting with Cruchet, I'll hit up the other candidates. <sighs> Melty seems like the easiest one to talk to, so I'll start with her. I wonder what the people chosen as royal candidates for the royal selection are like. <sighs> there are a lot of sketchy looking people here. Patrolling this part of town isn't easy. A church with a cute girl? Maybe that church on the other side of the shopping district? Gaston and his group need to be smarter about how they run things. Finally found it. The church Melty tends to. So, there are churches in this world too, huh? Though I guess they worship dragons instead of gods? Well, whatever. Excuse me! Ah! Uh, uh, Subaru! What are you doing here? Hey, Melty. Long time no see. Well, since yesterday. Uh, I was wondering if I could talk to you for a bit. Whoa there, Subaru. That's pretty bold of you. The royal selection may have been postponed, but you're in the middle of enemy territory here. Aren't you being a little careless? Huh? Careless? Oh, well, now that you mention it... Maybe? Come on, did you think through this at all? You need to consider your situation more. 
sorry, sorry. But considering you're going out of your way to tell me that, I can assume you guys don't mean me any harm, right? You were very considerate of Melee the other day, too. Ah, uh, good grief, man. <laughs> hmm? What's so funny? Nothing. It's just that you two seem so close. I was admiring how quickly boys can become friends with one another. Close? Us? Oh, come on. Cut it out, Mel. Huh? He and I aren't close. More like we look out for each other on the battlefield. That's all there is to it. We may have been born at separate times, but we die together. Your bond is far greater than I imagined! <laughs> Good one. I wish we weren't so strangely in sync. Anyway, I hope you didn't come here just to mess around. No, I wanted to talk. You know, to exchange some information. Is that so? Then I'll make us some tea. No, oh, don't mind me. I'll just take the best tea you've got. How highly do you think of yourself? I see. So neither of us have enough information yet. It hasn't been very long since the royal candidates were gathered, so there still seems to be a great deal of confusion. The only thing we know for sure is how serious everything is. But in any case... I didn't realize you were Melty's knight, Tiga. No wonder you could see through Melee's hood. I'm not all that special. I just happened to stumble my way into this position. If we're talking about pure skill, there's someone far more suited for the job. Tiga, do you really dislike being my knight that much? I know I can be quite the airhead at times, and I'm not as dignified as the others. Not to mention how I got lost just the other day. No, no. You've got it all wrong, Mel. I was just talking about my level of skill, that's all. When it comes to matters of the heart, no one is more worthy of being your knight than me. I want to be your knight. So please, don't sour your face like that. Smile for me, Mel. Tiga. Yes, of course. Good. I'm glad. Now, what's with your face, Subaru? No, oh, nothing. I was just admiring you, Tiga. My abilities may not be adequate enough, but I refuse to let go of my position. All I need to do is build myself up to reach the appropriate level of someone of my stature. No, not that. I was impressed that you could say something so cheesy with a straight face. Really now? I'm kidding, kidding. What you talked about is something I need to learn for myself, too. I'm gonna remember that. So, he refuses to give up, huh? Subaru? I've got the intel I wanted, though I guess this isn't much of an exchange. Either way, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Wait, is that weird of me to say right now? Because we support opposing factions? I'd say it's a bit too late worrying about that now, don't you think? We may be competing with one another for the throne, but there's no need to hate each other in the process. So, um, well, I would be absolutely thrilled if we continued getting along. <sighs> yeah, I feel the same way. I'm sure you spoke to each other yesterday, but I'll let Melee know too. Yeah, there's no need for us to hate each other. She's completely right about that one. Morning, Rim. Good morning, Subaru. Did you sleep well? Yeah, like a baby. I might even be able to fly among the clouds. Hmm, I cannot have you flying away. I would not be able to catch up with you if you did. So please travel on foot instead. I'm only kidding. I'm not Roswell, you know. <laughs> now then, where are we off to today? Oh, about that. It's on us to find out who the fake candidate is, seeing as we're the only ones left in the capital. Mm, so long as 
as it does not delay you receiving treatment, then I am all for it. Of course I'll get treated, but I'll be doing other stuff too. So for now, we should be gathering information. Gathering information? Yeah. I want to find out more by going around and asking people some questions. Who knows what we might learn that'll lead us to the imposter. We could start in the shopping district. There's someone I want to talk to there, too. Thanks for your business. You're awfully generous today. I never expected you'd stop by so often. You didn't even have a penny to your name that first time. But now look at you. Oh, stop it. No need to bring up those old times together. It'd be a real stab to my heart if my favorite shop closed down because I didn't give it my patronage. If only I had shopped more at that stall with the scary-looking shopkeeper. I don't want to live with such regrets later in my life. That's none of your business. My shop's been through more close calls than you know. I don't need your help to keep it up and run it. Oh, so you haven't always been in the green? Well, I've got plenty of stories about my screw-ups. Like that one time I stocked up on goods that I felt would give me a big payday, but I didn't sell squat. I hear the market is unpredictable and ever-evolving, so reading into trends correctly must be a difficult task. Exactly. The market can unexpectedly change at any minute. Like recently, with the North Passage having been sealed off, if anyone stocked up on merchandise to sell around Gusteco, they'd have taken a huge loss. Huh. I didn't know that. What kind of stuff sells over in Gusteco? Ooh, that place is rough. Pretty much everything has some kind of value over there. But right now, I think oil is the best seller. Right. You could burn it and use it for cooking or something. Makes sense it's so valuable. Some folks even make a business out of buying up items at a steep discount from merchants who stocked up on the wrong goods. Sounds like a tough economy. Yeah. Both sides kind of depend on each other. So, if your business ever fails, let me know. I know some people who might be able to help. I don't even want to think about that. Is this person someone who helped you out too? Yeah, someone I met through my wife's family. Acted as a mediator for me when I needed it. It really helped me out in the end. Oh yeah, your wife did have this sort of elegant vibe to her. She seemed like a gentle and kind person. Huh? Have you met her before? You could say that. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. Wait, so you're not here to buy any of my appas? Sorry, I've come for another reason today. I need to gather some intel, and you're the first person that popped into my head. Being a merchant and all, I thought you'd be privy to some rumors that might be floating around. Luckily for us, you seem to be pretty bored. So, do you mind dishing out what you got? I don't get why you'd think I'm bored, but I do have some downtime. So, what do you want to know? <laughs> Sorry, bud. I'd probably be more helpful if you explained your situation. I'm sorry, too. That's just how complicated it is, and I'm honestly not sure how much more I can say. Judging by that look of yours, I figure you're somehow involved in the royal selection. Did something happen? That's... classified. Seriously, you're better off not asking. Sorry, I gotta get going. Thanks for hearing me out. All right, come back soon. And you, young lady, you're most welcome anytime. Yes, thank you. I shall return with Subaru again. Man, with him again, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Subaru, 
Do you have a moment? Rim? Oh, sorry. My mind wanders when I do yoga like this. What's up? Sir Reinhard van Estrella is here to see you. He's here? For me? Yes. Would you like me to let him in? Yeah, please. Hello, Subaru. Sorry for my late visit. Don't worry about it. But what's this all of a sudden? Knowing you, I figured you wouldn't sit still being left in the royal capital. You seem to know me pretty well. I do consider us friends, after all. In any case, it seems we both have a bit of an issue on our hands. So I thought we could benefit from a mutual exchange of information. Exchange information, huh? I don't really have much to share, though, just so you know. That's fine. Just opening up a discussion could lead to new realizations. How are you so nice? Okay, then. Guess I'll start. I see. I think I understand Melty a little more now. There was that get-together the other day, too. I would greatly prefer to be on good terms with her camp, including that night of hers, Tiga. What about things on your end? Has Felt been staying put? She's not roaming around by herself, is she? She's not the type to sit idly by no matter what I say. She also has her own way of doing things as well. So she is roaming around by herself? Are you sure you should let her do that? If she ends up in any sort of trouble... Not to worry. Should anything befall her, I will rush to her side. It's crazy how reassuring you made that sound. That's not mentioning how quick-witted Miss Felt is in her own right. Should she ever find herself in trouble, I know she'll find a way out of it. I don't know if you should place all your faith in her like that. I will consider your words of caution. And what of the other camps? Regarding Miss Cruchet, Miss Anastasia, and Miss Priscilla, that is. Ferris, Cruchet's knight, has been tending to me every so often. I don't know much about Priscilla. Well, besides the fact that she snuffed me out of the appas I was trying to buy. Appas? Yeah. I wasn't able to buy any since she bought out the whole freaking place. <laughs> It's still quite impressive that you managed to get close to even Miss Priscilla. Come on, don't say that. I really feel like she's the most suspicious person out of all the candidates right now. As for... Anastasia, was it? Her knight, Julius? I really hate that guy. <laughs> it's certainly like you to be blunt about your feelings. It's true that Julius tends to give off a certain impression upon first meeting him. But if you try talking things through, I'm sure you'll have a better understanding of his character. So, how about it? Would you be willing to give it a try? Uh, I guess if the opportunity presents itself, I'll think about it. But we can't really be all buddy-buddy with one another, right? Even if it's proven that the candidates we support are the real deal, we'd still be enemies. Things only get more difficult when you're too friendly with your opponent. Subaru. But I understand that we don't have to hate each other in the process. That's right. I think that's a good way to look at it. It's just a little something I learned from someone. But I do think there's a lot of truth to it. Thanks for taking the time to stop by tonight, Reinhardt.